Hello guys, and welcome to today's video. Sorry if the lighting's bad, I need to adjust the camera. But, um, anyways, today we're going to be talking about LeVar Ball. And what he's been doing recently. So, we all know LeVar Ball versus Donald Trump, right? I'm kind of, to be honest with you guys, I'm kind of on LeVar Ball's side. I know it sounds stupid, but kind of am, because it feels like Donald Trump just bailed him out just to say to everyone that... Oh, he bailed him out and that he's a good person. Um, I think that's basically what LeVar was trying to say. And now we're going to be talking about LeVar versus Luke Walton, basically. So, what from I get, I get from it, um, LeVar says they're going too soft. Luke Walton and the whole team on his son, Lonzo Ball. Um true i i find that true too um i never thought i'd been saying this because before i thought bar ball was just stupid because he said oh lonzo ball's better than Stephen curry which i don't agree with that part but i can say this much i agree with him saying that because the harder you push lonzo the better he's gonna be and it feels like as you watch the games they haven't been pushing him as hard as they could be pushing him you know what i mean I mean, I haven't been watching the practices, but personally, I agree with LeVar, you know. They're just going not hard enough on Lonzo Ball, because Lonzo Ball could be a future MVP, you know. Not the future best player of all time. I thought that was stupid when LeVar says that. But one of the top 15 of all time, in my opinion, he can turn into... Um, which some games he does okay, you know, or he does pretty good. You know, he's not really that much of a shooter to start out, you know, in the NBA career. But he has had two triple doubles. And he is very young, so he does have some potential. Yes, he'll have them games where he has, what, zero points or four points and like five assists, five rebounds. I mean, he, has, he almost always has okay rebounding and okay passing. But sometimes on scoring, he's a little bit too low. Which I think on the offensive side, on scoring side, they do need to go on hard on Lonzo. I mean, not as much on the passing or the rebounding. Because he's already pretty solid at that stuff. Um, just on scoring, they they need... I think the Lakers need to trade for a veteran player that can help Lonzo, you know, become a great player. Or they just need to get a new coach. Because I feel like Luke Walton isn't working out for them. He's an okay coach, but he, I just don't think he fits the Lakers' play style. That's just my opinion, though. Um, Kyle Kuzma, he's looking good, too. Uh, don't know what else to say about him. But Lonzo, you know, yes, he does. He needs to get pushed harder. Um, that's pretty much all i got to say about that. I agree with LeVar with two things. In the past, what, week that he said, which I'm pretty surprised because I never really agree with LeVar Ball because I've always kind of thought he was stupid. But in some situations, now that I think about it, he's a little bit smarter than you might think. If you really deeply think about it. But some things he's just playing out stupid. That's just my opinion, though. So if you are new, subscribe because we are on the road to 200 subscribers. And yes, guys, I will be posting more consistently now. And... I have been lacking, and now it's two days in a row that I've posted. I might not post on Thanksgiving, but I will for sure post the next day. Yeah, the next day. Um, so I gotta say, if I do post on Thanksgiving, I might not post the next day. Who knows? But anyways, that's the end of the video. See you guys. Have a great day. Have a great Thanksgiving. If I don't see you then, peace.